Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In the series of service catalog, today we will discuss about variable set. So this is the get training catalog item under ServiceNow 911 catalog and the category is tech topics. Okay. So now let's scroll to the bottom. You see here one variable with order 100 and then we have this variable set. So first of all, what is a variable set? In simple terms, if you want to use variables in more than one catalog item, so instead of creating these variables every time in the catalog items, you can create a variable set and then that variable set can be used by each catalog item. So ultimately this variable set is a concept for the variable reuse purpose and save time of the developers. So here you see variable set. Okay, so there is a proper variable set table under catalog variables, click on variable sets. As of now, you see these are the four variable sets which are available out of the box. So let me create one new one. Click here, new. So we have two type of variable sets, single row display and multiple row display. You see how they are displayed here. Okay, so now let me click on this single row display. You can choose according to your requirement, provide some title here because we have the catalog item as get training. Okay, so I am just according to that one, I am using it. Then provide the order 200 type is single row. Okay, then display title. Then let's provide the layout one column wide. We have two other options. We will check it once we create the variable set. Okay, so now let me save it. So once you have the variable set ready, you have to add variables because it is a collection of variables. Click on new, provide type as single line text, add uh, order as 100. Okay, then mandatory, provide some question here, name of trainer, okay, submit. Let's change the variable set name to trainer only, save it. Then click on new, one more variable. So let's provide some reference here. Okay, reference type variable. Order will be 200. Then in question training company. Because this is reference to provide the reference. Let's say company. Okay, core company table I have selected. The stall tabs are the same. We already discussed in the last video. If you are not, then please watch the last video. Let's make it mandatory as well. Submit it. So now we have two variables in this variable set. So now let's go to our catalog item and add that variable set here. So in order to add it, you need to click on edit. You see the trainer variable set is available. Select it here, then save. So now first of all, this variable will get display and then the variable set because the variable set as a whole is having 200 order. If I change it to 100 or 50, then it will come before this. Okay. So now let's click on try it. You see here, this is the first one and we have this. This is the display title because we wanted to get it display. And then we have these two variables and both are mandatory. Okay. Click on this. It will refer to core company table where you have to select the training company. Okay. Let's select this one, Rajiv. Let's add some training here, P, Y, T, H, O, and Python. I want to learn. Click on order now. So now you know all this, a request is created. This is the item, it has its workflow and it will go like this. Okay, so now let me change the layout here. From one to we have two columns wide. So now let me refresh this layout is changing okay so in this way you can make use of this layout as well according to your requirement okay so i hope uh, you got it now uh, try it use it and then let us know if you have any doubts thank you so much bye bye